the movie begins with Wake returning home after cycling. His wife, Melinda, greets him with curiosity. They have a young daughter who enjoys favorite song despite her mother's irritation. Inside, Melinda asks Wake to help her choose a dress and fetch her black shoes, which she does willingly. At a party, they socialize with friends and drink beer. Melinda reconnects with her old friend Joe, which Wick notices. Soon, Melinda and Joe sneak away for a private moment and share a kiss witnessed by Wick. Despite catching each other's eyes, Wick realizes Melinda is lost in her fantasies. Undeterred, she dances on a piano to grab attention, then plays it, delighting the crowd. Wick smiles as if nothing is amiss. Later, Joe thanks Wick for letting him see Melinda. Wick cryptically mentions a missing man named Martin McRae and suggests Joe may be responsible. Joe laughs it off, but Wick warns him of the consequences if he continues his behavior. After Joe leaves, Melinda confronts Wick about his behavior towards a friend. Later that night, she enters the kitchen shirtless, angering Wick when he tries to send her away. This incident reveals Melinda's selfish and careless nature contrasting with Wick's hobby of keeping snails as pets. Days later, Wick learns that everyone knows about his threat to Joe regarding Martin McRae. Melinda is aware of this too and insists Wick apologize to Joe. She invites Joe to dinner on Friday. When Joe arrives, Wick jokes that Melinda isn't home, making Joe nervous. Eventually, Wick reassures Joe and suggests they enjoy seafood and conversation together. At dinner, Wick learns Joe is allergic to seafood a fact Melinda knew but withheld. Wick makes Joe grill cheese instead, but Melinda joins in as if to provoke her husband. Wick then takes their daughter to bed, leaving Melinda and Joe alone. Later, Joe demands an apology for Wick's joke about Martin McRae's disappearance, but Wick remains serious and calls him an Uber. At a party, Wick and Melinda talk to a rider, who jokingly calls Wick a killer in reference to Martin McRae. Wick dances with another woman, making Melinda jealous. She tries to provoke Wick while he drives and later compares herself to other women. As they watch their daughter play, Wick receives a call about Melinda's bank account from the bank. Wick discovers Melinda sent $3,000 to a handsome pianist and becomes suspicious. He later sees Melinda flirting with the pianist. That night, Wick finds Melinda drunk at home and questions her whereabouts. While driving their daughter home, he sees the pianist carrying flowers that end up in their house. Wick confronts Melinda about her affair and a disregard for his feelings. She admits to spending the night with the pianist. Despite Wick's discomfort, Melinda invites the pianist to their party the following week, and Wick reluctantly shakes his hand. Wick once again catches Melinda being intimate with another man, even in front of him. As rain interrupts their party, everyone moves indoors. When Melinda discovers the pianist dead in the pool, Chaos ensues as they try to revive him. The police investigate and Melinda accuses Wick of the murder. Despite questioning, the police find nothing incriminating. Wick wonders if Melinda is scared of him, but she blames him for their troubled life. Wick imagines Melinda with the other man and flashes of him taking his own life. Later, they invite friends to dinner and Wick asks them to stop calling him a killer. He continues to have suspicious meetings with Melinda about this incident. One day, Wake discovers hidden cameras in Melinda's car and finds her with a man who claims to be a psychologist. Later, he learns that Melinda and her friend's husband hired a private detective to spy on him, leading to a heated argument between the couples. Wick realizes Melinda is seeing yet another man. When Melinda's friend Tony visits, she embraces him as if he were her husband and reveals intimate details about their past. Wick feels uncomfortable witnessing the inappropriate behavior. Despite this, they enjoy dinner and music, dancing provocatively in front of Wick. Wick catches them heading upstairs to his bedroom, where they exchange glances. A few days later, Wick lures Tony into his car under the guise of Melinda wanting to see him. He drives Tony to a remote location, questioning him about Melinda and his dating history. Enraged, Wick kills Tony and conceals his body in the water. Upon returning home, Wick feels relieved and content. The next day, Wick and Melinda go on a picnic to the same location where Wick had disposed of Tony's body. Wick sees Tony's body floating in the river accidentally. That night, Wick learns Melinda is talking to another man named Don. 
she invites him to sleep in her room and confesses her love for him. The following day, Wick returns to the river to fix his mistake. Meanwhile, Melinda discovers Tony's wallet at Wick's workplace. Wick tries to hide Tony's body in the water when a stranger confronts him. As they struggle, a hand emerges from the river, startling the stranger who flees. Wick chases him on his bicycle, resulting in the stranger getting into an accident. Wick returns home and the movie ends with a scene mirroring the beginning. It's revealed that Melinda placed Tony's ID in the fire and didn't inform the police, concluding the story.